many of your tubers, what is up? It's Tim here for Hopsicle One. And uh, I've got a very special brew this evening. Uh, kind of red. I was working out in the yard all day. I'm here in Arizona, so it was pretty hot. Uh, but I've got a really special brew. And it is from a collaboration between the Shoots Brewery and Hair of the Dog Brewery. And this just came out, and it is the Collage Conflux Number no. One. Uh, this is a collaboration between Deschutes and Hair of the Dog. And let me show you, tell you what is in this beer. Uh, this 12 ounce beer right here cost $10.99. It is at 11.6% on the ABV. And I'm going to tell you what's in this. This is brewed at Deschutes Brewery, but it is a collab with Hair of the Dog. Uh, on the Deschutes side of this beer, they have two beers in here, in this bottle. Uh, they have the Dissident and the Stoic. Hair of the Dog has Fred and Adam. And those are the four beers that are brought together inside this beer right here. All four beers are two years old and were aged in a variety of oak barrels. And less than 200 barrels were produced. So this is a pretty special release. Pretty special collage. And collaboration and like I said it's uh, number one conflux number one the collage all right and I'm gonna drink it in this snifter glass should work well for this this is a big beer this is a sipper uh, and after I'm all heated up I'm just gonna sip on it uh, being such a big beer so uh, let's get it opened up guys I'm really interested this thing I'm gonna tell you right up front it gets a 99 on right beer. Uh, 95 in the style, 99 overall. A uh, very strong beer and it's got some, like I said, all four of those beers are two years old, aged in oak barrels. Sherry, uh, they have all different type of barrels. There were whiskey, there was sherry, there was just uh, all kinds, bourbon of barrels that were those oak barrels that they were aged in for two years. So let's get this thing opened up and let's see what we get on this thing. Let's get her poured into the snifter. This is considered in the style of American Strong Ale, as you would imagine. And I'm going to pour the whole thing in here. It's very rich looking. It looks kind of like the North Coast Old Stock Ale uh, in color. As it was poured out of there, I can smell it right now. Wow. Uh, let's look at the body and appearance of this beer. Look at that. It is. Uh, in the camera, you can't really see, but you can see a little. It's not completely opaque. You can see a little bit as I hold it up to the slide up here. Uh, it's almost like the color of, I would say, a chamay or a little darker, almost a quadruple in color. Uh, it is dark. Uh, I would say it's more like the Abbott 12 uh, in color. It's got a nice creamy, really rich head on there. Look at that. Uh, about a finger and a half. That is a very rich, luxurious head on there. Um, beautiful. I, I'm really impressed with the richness of that head right there. Uh, there's the color and appearance. Let's get a nose on this thing. Oh my gosh. Wow. Uh, this is going to be hard to explain to you. I am getting an oak woodiness, a vanilla. Wow, um, this is hard to explain, guys. Wow, I'm getting a lot of vanilla. Uh, I'm sure that oak wood is bringing out. Yeah, I'm getting. Wow, I'm getting a vanilla nutmeg and a wood. That is so unique. I've never ever smelled a beer like that. Look at that uh, alcohol legs on the side. Very luxurious, rich head. I'm trying to explain this nose to you. God, that is. They need to bottle that and sell that. That is uh, unique, guys. Um, all I can tell you is like a nutmeg, vanilla, and oak. 
nutmeg, vanilla, and oak is what I'm getting on that nose. Uh, I hope that kind of does it justice. It's about the best I can give you in my words. Um, that is unique. That is awesome. Uh, wow. All right, guys. That's what I got on the nose. Gave you the color and appearance. Cheers. Wow. Oh my gosh. Man. I'm getting butterscotch, vanilla, uh, yeah, hold on, I'm doing a review, um, on that taste, that was uh, someone in the house there, but guys, on that taste, um, I'm getting oak, vanilla. It's a lot like the nose, but I'm getting an oakiness, vanilla, a little bit of a sherry. Uh, this is very unique and very good. Oh my gosh. I can see why this was this much. It was $10.99 for the 12 ounce bottle. But I'm telling you right now, this is a sipper, and you'll never taste another beer like this. It's uh, different than the Parabola. Uh, it's different than a lot of the stellar, dark uh, uh, American strong ales that I've tasted. This has more of a, a vanilla and oakiness to it. Wow, it's got bourbon. I'm trying to give you these tastes. It's much like the nose. It's so complex, it's hard to describe. I'm getting a bourbon, a sherry, a vanilla, a nutmeg. That's outrageous. That really is. I think vanilla dominates along with the oakiness, oakiness, vanilla, a uh, little bit of sherry, a little bit of bourbon, and some nutmeg. And that's pretty much what I, all I can tell you on that in explaining that uh, complex nose and taste on this beer. All right, I'm going to give you a grade. I'm at the eight minute mark. I could go on and on. That's how good this is, guys. Uh, sorry about the interruption, uh, but they were asking me a question. They didn't know I was doing a review. Um, there it is. There's the bottle. Get this thing. It's pricey, but I'm telling you it's worth it. Uh, I'm going to sip on this for an hour. Uh, the Deschutes and Hair of the Dog collage. Conflux number one. Uh, with a mixture of the... Dissident Stoic on Deschutes and the Fred and the Adam on the Hair of the Dog side. Uh, a grade, 1 through 100. And again, forgive my countenance. I worked all day out in the sun, so I got a pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, red face there. But uh, guys, a 1 through 100, I'm going to give you a very fair grade on this. I almost want to give this a 100 because it's so unique and so complex, but I'm going to give this a 99 out of 100. Get this beer. Uh, you will not be disappointed. Very unique. The vanilla notes on this, the vanilla, nutmeg, and oak, and bourbon on this is outrageous. In the smell and in taste. So there you have it. So the next review, drink with style and drink responsibly. Cheers.